Milton Lee Olive III was a resident of the Englewood neighborhood on Chicago's South Side. And he was killed uh, on, on duty in Vietnam uh, in October of 1965, just two weeks before he would have turned 19 years old. He was uh, honored by President Lyndon B. Johnson with the uh, first uh, Medal of Honor to be given to a Black soldier for service in the Vietnam War. Um, there was a ceremony held at the White House with his parents in attendance uh, in um, April of 1966, and then in June, in fact, on June 19th, which we now celebrate as Juneteenth, um, on June 19th of 1966, there was a ceremony to dedicate Dan Kiley's designed park uh, in memory of, of Olive. Um, there was a very large ceremony um, that included uh, paratroopers diving from planes, uh, flying overhead. There was a 50 gun salute that was uh, in recognition of Chicago's 50 wards. Uh, a memorial plaque or monument was installed that was surrounded with what was described at the time uh, as thousands of flowers. Um, the Chicago Symphony Orchestra Chorus sang Battle Hymn of the Republic. I mean, it was a very elaborate, uh, beautiful ceremony in, in recognition of, of Olive and his service to our country. The park is wedge-shaped, if you will. Uh, it is comprised of five circular pools of varying uh, sizes that are connected with diagonal walkways. Those pools are said to represent the five Great Lakes. Dan Kiley also uh, described them as being inspired by the placement of the rocks at Ranji uh, in Kyoto. There is a cantilevered triangular uh, viewing deck from which one can look out toward the city and toward the spectacular skyline. The plant palette is rather limited, hawthorn and honey locust trees and turf lawn. Chicago is well known um, uh, as a city that is segregated north side, south side. And I think the 60s was a time of great unrest. We know this. We know that uh, Martin Luther King Jr. chose to reside uh, in the K-Town neighborhood on Chicago South Side to demonstrate inequities in um, uh, property ownership and conditions of rental apartments. And we know that after his death uh, that there were riots uh, in Chicago's South and Southwest neighborhoods. Uh, I think it's significant that also during this period that um, Olive's service, the sacrifice of his life was recognized and therefore uh, the role of, of black citizens was being recognized in the city of Chicago. I would say that today it's important to consider how much names really do matter. And we've seen this with the city of Chicago choosing to rename Douglas Park uh, in honor of Frederick Douglas, simply by adding an S to that name. One thing I think that is significant for the future of Olive Park uh, is that the fountains, which are the key to the site, I think, uh, integral to the design, the display of water, at a water filtration plant. Each, each fountain has a central nozzle that's supposed to send a plume of water into the air and they've not been operational for years. So to think literally of visibility, it would be wonderful to restore those fountains to again shoot these plumes of water into the air to make olive more visible, to, to draw people's attention to that site and to celebrate um, this young man's life uh, and the lives of all Chicagoans.